Hi everyone. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly connect Airtable to Idalo as an external collection. The first step that we need to do is we need to go here into the Airtable to our account. Your account. And then here below, we are going to get our API uh, key. The next step is then we go into our table. We go here into the space that we want to work with. So in this case, I'm going to connect the events table. And as you can see, it has a grid view by default. So in order to get the endpoint here, we are going into the help, API documentation. And then as you can see here, we have the different tables that were here. So contacts, page ID, events, RSVP. And for this case, we're going to choose events. We want to connect as an external connection. So we want to do a list records. And then here, what we are going to do is show the API key. So the next step is to grab the endpoint. So as you can see here in the curl, we have the endpoint here. And as you can see, it's, uh, it goes until events and then max records equal three, view grid. So we don't need all of this. I'm just going to copy this part because we want to get all records. So copy. And then we are going to go into Adalo, create a new, oh, we have a, a bug here. Let's check, let me just do a little, okay, now it appeared. So here on the external connections, I already have two Airtable, uh, Airtables connected, but I'm going to do it again. So we're gonna add a collection, Airtable test for this case. I'm going to add here the API endpoint. And then as you can see here, we have an off setup. So I'm going to have to set up here the authorization, as you can see. So the minus H indicates this is a header, uh, it's authorization, and then we are going to have to add the pair key. So we're going to have here copy, put it back here. Then we're going to add an item, a header, as I was mentioning. I'm going to do a authorization, which was the header name. And then here we are going to add the bear token. Okay, now we're done. We are going to do next. So as you can see now here we have get all, get one, create, update, delete. So I'm going to do next just to show you what will happen because there's going to be an error. So going here, we're going to run a test. And as you can see, an error occurred when, call, when calling get all. Um, but although it gave the response, we cannot continue further. And the reason is because the Airtable results are nested under the records, as you can see here. So we are going to grab this records, copy, go back. And then, for example, here, we're going to say this is nested under the records. Okay. We're going to do done. So for the other ones, we don't need to do this because then a dollar will do this out of the box. Okay, then next, run test. And as you can see here, now test successful and we're going to create collection. And now as you can see, we already have the collection created. And we can start displaying the collection if we want. And that's it. That's how you connect quickly your Airtable table as an external collection. Thank you.